and gentlemen of Chester, step forward and see the arming of the warriors. Where are the warriors then? Huh? Where are the warriors? Over there. Are you blind? See some boys. Yeah. 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 I don't know whether it didn't really say yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Next level, Freeman with the setup. <laughs> this is a universal yeah. sign of being a free man. You're not a slave. Yeah. <laughs> it is quick. It is close. <laughs> it is the weapon you have when everything else is lost. Oh, Turn your weapon to the crowd. Say axes come in all shapes and can be as long as three foot. People will confuse this as a sword of sorts, but it has only the one cutting edge. It is a say axe, which is a long knife. The most famous weapon that the Vikings used is the axe. Now this smart gentleman with the helmet is going to demonstrate it. It is a handy weapon. It is fast. It is a shield breaker. <laughs> it's also a tool for if you need to chop up firewood, preferably out of someone else's shield. Show your weapon to the car. Chopping wood. This one has got a rather fancy pattern in it. From Gotland in Sweden, it's the crosshead axe. Very nice. This one's good for keeping people at distance. And it's also good for bringing people down to size. Much like that. The famous battle at Stamford Bridge in 1066. One lone Viking with one of these held up the Saxon army long enough for its friends to turn up. Until? Until he got one of them up the skirt. That man took out 30 Saxons and gave his friends enough time to run nine miles and join in the fight. It was an alright day. One of these would cost you seven shillings, which is about a year's wages. As you can see, only the most skilled warriors would be issued with one. These are gifts from lords. These are investments of years upon years of raiding. They are literally worth their weight in silver. We didn't really rate gold, it wasn't that great. Silver is the one for us. He's off on an adventure, isn't he? I trust your aim, so I'm going to... Gunner, I trust your aim, I'm going to stand here. Okay? Aim... Aim for the big blob, not the little blob. I'll try and get in between them. Now those of you who know the Viking pop culture at the moment have seen the swords, the axes, the spit, not even even the spears, but let's face it. Come on! But a weapon that was a legal requirement for every second man of the ship is the bow. Every second man had to provide a bow and 24 arrows or risk a fine. Nice points on the end. You wood was preferred for the nice natural flex in it. You are looking at the great grandfather of the English longbow. Brought over from Norway. A wicker! Silver! The neighbour covers each other and they're protected. Thigh to neck. Boots! 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 It is a paddy jacket made of five or seven layers of wool sewn tightly together. 
If you want an idea of what it's like, try and make a t-shirt out of your duvet. It's quite snug. It's quite snug. It is, he's had it that long, it can stand up on his own. They're a bit of a pain to wash. <laughs> now, afterwards comes the most glamorous piece of equipment. The yarn shirt, sir. The ring, sir. The iron shirt, or the ring shirt. Or as you all know it, chain mail. The Victorian invention chain mail because mail is chain anyway, so it's a bit of a uh, tautology. Anyway, distance now of tightening on his belt because you need to take the weight of the mail off your shoulders. Now the five shilling investment of a helmet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Seven shillings. We have here the fully armed, fully equipped, fully blinged out Viking Jarl, your Earl. Yarl Ingemans. 